So I was watching a Pokemon Trail and Amethyst playthrough this afternoon, and it was by No Leaf Clover. I was about 19 minutes in until this spectacular thing happened. It looks very nice. Oh, there's a slime block here. Oh wow. Uh <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. Wow. <sighs> Why does that work? That's weird, right? I like I can't jump, but when I jump on the slime block, this happens. That's really crazy. These towers look crazy too. Okay, so what just happened there? Apparently, if you cannot jump, so by that I mean you have a jump boost of at least 128, I think. Now I can't jump. So if I hold the jump key, I cannot jump. That's how the cancelling jump uh, mechanic was done in Pokemon Kill and Amethyst. I'm going to get rid of those particles. Apparently, if you have that, and then stand on a slime block, you can jump. <laughs> it's the most hilarious thing ever, uh, in, in, in terms of this thing anyway. Some people messaged me saying, oh, this is how it works. So apparently, if you have such a high jump boost, you can't jump because the game will try to send you down. It will not try to boost you upwards vertically. It will send you downwards. So by definition, if I have an excessively high jump boost, I will jump down, which means if I collide into this slime block, I will jump higher. This is an amazing map making technique and also uh, a cautionary warning for those who want to use this mechanic in a map. So to cancel, to cancel jumping, that's funny, the chests disappear. Um, if you try to cancel jumping, make sure you don't use slime blocks anywhere in the map. And alternatively, if you want to use this in a parkour uh, map, you can also do this sort of thing, where you have this block here, and a block very far off, and then the player will have to figure it out that they have to jump on this slime block, and then land on the opposite block. But of course, uh, just don't do what I did in PokeCA. It is a bug. If you jump on a slime block, uh, you will ruin, the, you will be able to break the map. You'll be able to fly out of the map. And also, that means the Halfwind Island gym puzzle, if you've been there, um, that's also kind of broken. So I didn't really test this out. I didn't think it was possible at all, but apparently is. So this is a warning or a piece of advice for map makers and a bit of a tip for you guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more creative content. Take care.